A constantly developing civilization and increasingly convenient lifestyles provide comforts that threaten our spines. Find out about the seriousness of spinal-related illnesses and their causes. For a healthier spine, learn the eight steps of aqua therapy. Find out everyday ways to prevent spinal-related illnesses. In order for a building to be strong, the foundation must be sturdy. If the foundation is weak, the safety of the building cannot be guaranteed. Likewise, when a problem occurs in the spine, the body structure cannot be sustained. The spine. How can it be protected? Human beings have created an astounding civilization, walking on two feet and using their hands freely. However, from the moment people began to walk upright, the human spine began to suffer. The human spine is made up of 24 bones and divided up into three parts, the neck, the back, and the waist. But the question is exactly how much pressure can the spine withstand? If the amount of pressure the spine endures when a person is standing is 100, the number decreases when one is lying down and increases when the spine is bent or the person is sitting down. Also, the spine must withstand the additional weight of the head and various internal organs. Still, how does an abnormality in the spine cause illness? It turns out there are some ways to approach this question. First, let's find out about the seriousness of various symptoms caused by an abnormality in the neck bone. When the membrane of the discs located between the neck bones get damaged, it is called a problem with the cervical disc. When the disc presses down on the nerves, it causes abnormality in other areas, causing pain all over the body. What are the symptoms that accompany cervical disc? You can perform a self-test to check the condition of your neck. Draw an imaginary line from the middle of the ear through the middle of the shoulder. This can easily diagnose the presence of any abnormalities. Next, let's find out about spine-related illnesses. There is an increasing trend in the number of spinal disorders among the young generation. According to statistics, there has been a 10% increase in the ratio of spine disorder patients among people in their 20s in the past four years.
There is a high increase in spinal-related illnesses among students and office workers who spend most of their time sitting down. But what are the methods of prevention? As transportation develops and the amount of time spent walking decreases, the spine becomes weaker. The chance to maintain the spine balance and strengthen the spinal muscles through walking is lost. Fashion trends are also a major cause of spinal disorders. The neck and waist are continuously subjected to strain from tight clothes, and high heel shoes cause back pains as well. Mobile phones are a modern necessity. However, simultaneously talking on the phone and walking exposes the spine to dangers as it breaks the balance between walking and breathing. The breathing pattern is disturbed and the spine is vulnerable when one is talking and breathing at the same time. Here are some spine-related questions from citizens. Hakumhoriye 하지만은 어, 주기적으로 허리가 자주 아픈 사람들, 늘 허리가 아픈 사람들 이런 경우에는 안쪽에 디스크가 상해서 그런 경우도 있으니까 오랫동안 아픈 경우에는 한번 MRI를 찍어보는 것이 좋을 것 같습니다. 가끔 저희 어머님이 허리가 아프다 그러면서 등을 밟아달라 그러시는데 정말 효과가 있는지 궁금합니다. 환자는 물론이거니와 일반인들도 척추에 과도한 힘이 가는 어떤 치료, 즉 우리가 일상적으로 하는 올라가서 밟는다든지 하는 행동은 척추의 일부분 또는 전체에 상당한 하중을 가하게 되고 그로 인해서 척추에 무리가 가고 또 병을 유발할 수 있는 행동이기 때문에 가급적이면 삼가하는 것이 좋겠습니다. Spinal disorders. No one in these modern times can be free from them. Strenuous exercise can aggravate the symptoms even more. So what kind of exercises can help the maintenance of a healthy spine? Water is an important element to the human species. Not only does it sustain life, it maintains the beauty of the body and skin. Today, aqua sports are in the spotlight and rising in popularity. Aqua sports use buoyancy, hydraulic pressure, and other characteristics of water to maximize the results of exercise. It helps those who cannot exercise on land to walk and move easily, which eliminates injury during exercise. Health experts agree that this should be a priority in any exercise program. That's why aqua exercises are very good for people with back pains. And today I'm going to learn the eight steps of aqua therapy. Would you like to join me? Each step of the eight steps in aqua therapy are all fluid motion. This therapy aids spinal exercise and circulation of energy throughout the body using the meridian theory and spherical remedies derived from oriental medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This is Mr. Park Moon Chow, a qualified aqua rehabilitation therapist. 양손은 가볍게 깍지를 끼시고 내 배꼽, 배꼽 밑에서 위치하시면 돼요. 그리고 천천히 호흡을 들여 마시면서 쭉 손을 올려서 내 얼굴 앞에서 뒤집고 그대로 팔꿈치를 쭉 펴주면서 머리 위까지 쭉 올려주세요. 이때 같이 뒤꿈치도 들여주시고 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟 호흡 뱉으면서 다시 제자리 천천히 움츠려진 척추를 곱게 쭉 펴주는 동작이거든요. 허리 아주 좋은 운동입니다. 배에 힘을 딱 주시면서요. 몸을 천천히 잡혀 주시는 거예요. 자, 배에 힘을 안 주면 몸이 뒤쉽 넘어갑니다. 그렇죠. 둘, 오, 셋. <웃음> 여기 배에다가 네. 복부 근육에다 힘을 딱 주셔야 돼요. 그래서 아이고 무릎이 안 펴지네. 무릎 좀 펴주시고. 자, 이렇게 펴주시고. After you have smoothed down your leg with your hands from the thigh to the knees and the ankles, straighten out your knees as you hold on to your feet. In the same manner, smooth out your leg from the feet to the thighs. This movement builds abdominal strength and creates flexibility in the knees. Oh! <laughs> 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 Stretch out one arm and look towards the end of the outstretched hand. Straighten up the chest and the spine and pull as if pulling the strings of an arrow with the opposite hand. Then part the legs a little wider than shoulder width and bend the knees slightly so that the surface of the water reaches the shoulders. Flip the palms toward the sky and raise the hand slowly as the elbows are pulled toward the face. Lower the opposite arm as it is pulled toward the leg. At the same time, lift the heels up and down rhythmically. This movement helps to enhance spinal balance. Open the legs wide and bring the surface of the water to the shoulders. Lightly hold the hands and fists and extend the arms powerfully out to the front. It is important to feel as if the water is being pushed away. Although this is a small movement, it brings maximum results using the water's resistance. Loosen up stiff back muscles by shaking the back muscles with both hands. Stand with both feet apart, shoulder width, and stand straight as if on horseback. Slowly turn the hips in repeated motions. Movements such as this build strength and flexibility through small movements. 수중 팔단금은 팔다리와 신체 동작을 잘 활용해서 내장을 단련시키는 방법입니다. 그러니까 한의학의 장부 경락 이론을 바탕으로 해서 만든 것인데 이것을 내장을 단련하기 위한 단련을 수중에서 환경으로 바꿔놓은 것입니다. 그러니까. 척추 질환이나 마비 질환 같은 환자분들에게 아주 좋은 단련법이라고 할수 있겠습니다. Most of these patients are suffering from back and spinal related illnesses, but they are challenging themselves by walking, running, and moving in water to create healthier spines. 이 운동을 어떻게 하게 되셨어요? 양쪽 무릎이 너무 쑤시고 태형성 관절. 어깨도 아프고 허리도 아프고 근데 이거 하면은 좋아요. 하나 더 아프세요? 왜? 뭐 몇십 년간 아팠던 건데 금방 낫나. 꾸준히 하니까 아주 좋아요. Wait. For those who do not have time to exercise, you can easily try aqua exercises at home. 
Keep the water temperature at 30 degrees Celsius and turn the ankles five times as if drawing a circle. Using just the ankle joints, slowly write letters on the bottom of the bathtub with the big toe. Fold the knees and then straighten out the legs as if kicking a ball. Then point the big toe towards the body and hold for two to three seconds. Open the palms and stick the thumbs on the sides of the hand after opening the arms. Then draw circles in the shape of the number eight with the arm. These exercises are so relaxing. I feel like my muscles now are full of new energy. Having good posture and eating healthy are as beneficial as exercise for the prevention and treatment of spine-related illnesses. Let's find out what kind of posture and attitudes help make spines healthier. An office worker, Jung Mi Gyung, visits the hospital to find out the health condition of her spine. Mm. Mm. Ordinarily, Ms. Jung considers herself very healthy. She confidently starts her close examination. So how are the results? X-ray 필름을 보니까요 문제점이 다 드러나는데요 가장 먼저 목을 먼저 한번 보세요 목 평상시에 여기 잘 아프다 그랬죠? 네. 목이 바로 뒤에서 볼 때는 반듯하게 보이지만 이렇게 옆에서 볼 때는 어때요? 일자죠? 목은 이렇게 뼈가 이렇게 휘어가지고 어, 머리 무게를 고루고루 분담해야 되는데 경추가 일곱 개가 있거든요. 이 뼈들이 고루고루 전달을 받아야 되는데 뼈에 고루고루 전달이 안 되고 딱 통째로 딱 받쳐기 때문에 어깨가 안 아플 수가 없죠. 이렇게 또 목이 일자다 보면은요 척추까지도 이 머리 무게를 이기지를 못해가지고 이게 휘어져요. 여기 흉추 끝에서부터 휘어졌는데 이 부위가 딱 휘면서 통증이 심하죠. 그래서 항상 피곤할 때마다 여기가 뭐꽉 누르는 것을 아프고 누가 만지면 깜짝 놀라고 그래요. 음. 보세요. Surprisingly, her neck bone was in a straight line, which causes shoulder pains. As a result of this, her backbone was bent. In this case, severe pain may be caused in the neck, shoulders, and back areas. Although it may not be noticed normally, severe pain may be experienced even from a small impact in this case. 이렇게 뼈에 특별한 문제가 없는데도 불구하고 허리가 아프거나 뭐 등이 아픈 사람들 많으시죠? 이런 경우에는 보면 자기도 모르는 사이에 어 자세가 아주 나쁘거나 아니면 생활 습관이 굉장히 나쁜 분들이 많습니다. 요즘 들어서는 이렇게 나쁜 자세로 인해서 오는 척추 질환이 많이 늘어가는 추세에 있습니다. Then what are the problems with Ms. Jung's ordinary daily habits? Ms. Jung was accompanied throughout her day to find the exact cause of her spinal disorder. Here she is sitting at her desk and looking at files or the computer monitor with a bent back and a protruding neck. We find her habitually sitting in a slanted position with her legs crossed. Here she is typing on the keyboard or working on something with the phone stuck between her neck and shoulder.
And here, standing on one leg instead of standing straight on both feet, which is considered more comfortable. Then, what kind of postures can protect the spine? 이렇게 주무시면은 다음 날 아침에 뭐 어깨가 아프다 잘못되고 났더니 어깨가 아프고 목이 아프고라는 증상이 많이 생길 수 있기 때문에 가급적이면 이렇게 엎드려서 주무시지는 않는 것이 좋겠습니다. 똑바로 누워 보실게요. 무릎을 세워 보실게요. 무릎을 세우시고요. 이렇게 다리 받침대를 놓으면은 이렇게 되면은 사실 이 우리가 이 부분이 땅에 좀 닿게 되면서 훨씬 이완되게 되기 때문에 허리에 무리가 적게 가게 돼요. Lying down straight on one's back with slightly bent knees is better than lying perfectly prostrate. When sitting, do not lean back on the back of the chair. Do not bend the back and refrain from protruding the neck. Sit with the buttocks deep into the chair and rest the back comfortably on the back of the chair. The height of the chair is appropriate when the bottom of the feet touch the floor. If this is not the case, it is best to use a footrest so that there is less strain on the back. Do not sit with the back arched and sit properly with the back against the back of the chair. It is better to wear low-heeled shoes because high-heeled shoes cause strain on the back. Also, when standing, it is best to pull back the head and neck while pushing the chest forward as the hips are pulled out because many daily motions cause the head and back to bend forward. Do not lean forward. Instead, a posture that leans back overall is better and healthier. 거의 대부분의 사람들이 항상 우리가 활동을 할때 앞으로 쏠리는 경향이 있죠. 이렇게 이렇게 쏠려서 일을 많이 이렇게 하기 때문에 모든 근육이나 연조직들이 앞으로 쏠려서 긴장이 돼 있거든요. 그래서 항상 최소한 한 시간 한분 정도는 뒤쪽으로 돌려주는 습관을 갖는 게 아주 중요합니다. 목도 이렇게 돌려주고 팔도 돌려주고 어깨도 돌려주고 허리도 돌려주고. 한 꾸준히 아마 한 달만 이런 신경 쓰시면은요 평상시에 뭐 허리가 아프든지 등이 허근하신 분들도 치료와 예방에 가장 중요한 그 포인트가 될 거라 생각을 합니다. You can check your spine's health through a self test. When standing, is the central line in between the ear and shoulder a straight one? Are the shoulders level? Are both knees balanced? Are the lengths of the legs the same? Does one foot reach the ground first when jumping with both feet together? Spinal disorder is a disease that can be simply prevented through maintaining a straight posture. You can indeed protect your spine through healthy daily habits and by maintaining an upright posture.